So right now I'm here with Lindy Ortega. Um, how many times are you going to be performing this weekend? Well, I've already done most of my stuff. I think I just have one more thing to do. So I've performed twice already. And then I have a workshop at 3.45. Awesome. And how, what are you going to do in the workshop? Are you going to be performing with other people? Or yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like a songwriter in the round, and it usually has a theme. And okay. Yeah. And then sometimes you join in on other people's songs if you know them or can pick them up quickly. And You look absolutely um, stunning. I, I love your outfit. I, I love your hat. I have a mess on it. I, I spilled something. but I have a tight <laughs> stick in my purse that you oh, can Oh, yeah. Use. Maybe that would help. Yeah. yeah. It would be perfect. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> so um, how would you describe your type of music? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's a large thread of sort of old traditional country in there, but I listen to a lot of um, blues and soul and um, rockabilly, so I feel like it all it all meshes in there, and whatever that genre would be called. I call it the witch's brew. Oh, the witch's <laughs> brew. That <laughs> sounds perfectly brew. fine. <laughs> and uh, I see that you are a Juno winner. Uh, not a Juno winner. I'm a CCMA winner. I won the Canadian Country Music Award for Roots Artist of the Year last year, and I've been nominated again this year. And I have been nominated for Junos. I've been nominated for three Junos. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so everyone loves you. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> it's because I wear cute dresses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cute, cute boots. Um, I always like to go a little bit back. So when yeah. did you pick up your first instrument? When did you first start to sing? How did that go down? Um, I was about, I'd say, 15 or 16 and my dad was a bass player in a Latin band, so we sort of had this treasure trove of um, instruments in our basement. So, like, a full PA system and um, guitars and an organ and keep, nice. like, I'm envisioning it right now. Yeah. There's, like, everything you could think of. And um, I would just go down and tinker around with all the stuff, and then... I was really fascinated with the guitar. That was it was kind of hanging on the wall as like an art piece, and I think that's what drew me to it. And then I was like, I want to play that. And I figured if I learned how to play three chords, then I could write songs, and that was all I needed. And so it started from there. And so you started writing songs with three chords. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember one? Throw um, one out for us. There was a song I wrote called Faded Dress, and it was like one of the first ones that I had written, and it was how I didn't get to go to prom because my boyfriend dumped me. Can you sing a little bit for oh, us? Oh, I can't. I can't sing it. It's like so old from forever ago. Is it? Okay. Yeah. But damn you, boyfriend, for dumping her the day before prom. Who does that I stuff? No. Well, I you, was very you never sad. hooked up with him again. I hope. No. 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 Good <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> so tell me about um, your life today. Where do you live? What What province are you in? What city are you in? I actually live in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh. I moved there about three and a half years ago. It'll be four years uh, this December. And, um, yeah, I've put out, I've got my fourth record coming out in August. Wow. And um, I've put out three records already. I've toured all over. I've been to Australia. I've been to Europe. I've been to Switzerland. I've been wow. to Mexico and, um, yeah, all over Canada, of course, and the States. So it's been a lot of travel, which is great because I've got to experience a lot of different cultures oh, yes. and a lot of different foods. Yeah. And like, where's your home base? If you if you have a home base, even I don't know. That would be Nashville right now. Okay, is my home base. Okay, yeah. So that's where I live. But I'm thinking of moving to Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver's awesome. I really awesome. like Vancouver. Yeah. I feel it, yeah. I feel uh, connected spiritually to yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. yeah. And 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 what do you feel about doing these kind of festivals? Like, do you prefer a a smaller venue uh, where it's you're closer to your audience, or a super large venue? You know. Uh, GM place, something like that, or, or just something like this tickle you? I like seeing the people that I'm singing for because it's nice to sort of see how they're connecting with the songs. So it's kind of more difficult when it's like really big and there's people there way, way back. And I mean, it's nice, it's good for like, you know, merch sales and all that yeah, to do yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. Those, but um, I, I like it. I'm a big fan of intimate gigs, but I like festivals a lot. I always come to festivals feeling like I'm super awkward and weird and nobody's going to like want to be my friend. But then I end up making friends and then it just totally proves me wrong. That Well, and I found that artistic people are all... we. We all have the same kind of, oh, nobody's going to like me thing. And then yeah. people do, and it's kind well, of strange. <laughs> yesterday, I went to the art. I was really scared and nervous to go to the art artist lounge. Because I was like, that's where all the artists are. And I was totally terrified. But I was like, I'm just going to like go and poke my head in. And I ended up becoming friends with the lady that was volunteering the security there. And then I ended up just deciding to help her. 
So I became like the welcoming committee slash head of security. For oh, the that is Lab. adorable. And then I just met everybody. And then all, I met all these women. And then we had like a red lipstick thing where I made them all put on red lipstick. Because yours looks fabulous, yes. by the way. <laughs> Thank you, you must be doing a really deep liner to get that to yeah. stay there. Okay, it's that's also my Mac matte matte lipsticks. Are okay, yes. okay, good yeah. tip, Mac matte. matte. Because yeah. I can't get red to stop bleeding into yeah. my skin. Yeah, I just I do lip liner too. Though. Okay, yeah. okay. And um, so I, yeah, I got to put red lipstick on a bunch of gals, and I, I met a bunch of people, and like typically awkward, shy, introverted me was out of my shell because I took on a job as head of security. <laughs> the artist lounge. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, yeah, so it was fun. <laughs> so tell me again exactly what time I can see you. Um, so today, the last show that I have is at 3.45, and it's a writer's in the round okay. as well. Yeah. And where can people... Um, Stage four. Where can people look you up? Do you have a Facebook? Do you have a I website? Do. I what have, have all got? of that. Okay. I have um, lindyortega.ca is my... Two, Lindy with two eyes. Because okay. if I had one, I'd be half blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Lindy underscore Ortega for Instagram and just Lindy Ortega for Twitter. So. Perfect. And I post weird stuff. I have two cats, so my Instagram like gets inundated with like cat pictures. Oh, good. Then we're aching yes. spirits here yes, because there I got go. lots of animal pictures yeah, too. I love animals. Yeah. <laughs> and listen, we've got um, oh, some treats. I was going to ask about those. Yeah. I want to be forward. Well, you know what? You take as many happy. as you want, they're here we're for you. Connected. Together. And I also have mm, a glow um, stick what? that I hope everybody will wear, and Did that I? way at night, yeah, I can oh, look around yeah. and see all the different people I I've will interviewed. Wear that. Good. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Okay. Mm, you're so good. We're out. Bye. <laughs>